Hello my crafty friends. I just wanted to share the cards that I made for the swap I'm in over at Two Shabby Sisters Studio dot ning dot com. I joined the card uh, swap for this month and um, the theme was Shabby Chic and we had to make three cards so um, they're standard A2 cards four and a quarter by five and a half and um, this is my first card. This is on an ivory card base. And I just created a little pocket with this uh, authentic paper here. I don't remember what pack this comes from, but if you want to know, I can tell you. And um, I stamped this little postcard. It says special delivery and just tucked it right inside there. And I created a, a little bow at a gray ribbon and put a ribbon rose in the center. I inked the top of the rose with um, the Distress Ink um, Tattered Rose. Uh, all I did is take the rose upside down and squish it into the ink pad, basically. <laughs> so there's that card there. And um, oh, and I stamped some stamps at the bottom in the matching colors pink brown and gray and then on the inside i just put a strip of paper we we're supposed to keep them uh neutral so they can be used for any occasion so that's why there's no sentiments on these so there's my first card and then the next card is this one here on a um gray um card base and I stamped this and I paper pieced the um, canopy with um, the same paper from the authentic pack I'm not sure the name of the pack that, that it came out of then I um, used uh, some alpha stickers that I had and put the word flowers and I made this look like a window with my colored pencils and then I glossy accented it and then I just added flowers here and again, no sentiment because it um, needs to be able, so, you know, the inside's blank, needs to be able to be used for any occasion. And then the last card I made, which I really love because I have a hard time doing shabby chic, and I think this one came out the best. This one here, it's on a pink card base, and I layered that on white, or no, ivory and gray. And then authentic paper, and then I stamped this big cameo stamp. This came from uh, scrapbook.com. And uh, I just added a piece of lace here, and I created this base for the roses. All I did was take, I punched a, a circle out of a piece of cardstock, and then I glued the lace in a circle around it, just pinching it every so often so it would bunch or gather. And then I put the roses on top of it. And this one I like the best. I think this one came out the best. I inked the edges with London Fog from Memento. And on the inside, I just um, layered some gray and some uh, ivory colored cardstock and a strip of the same paper that's on the outside. And that's it. So those are my cards for my swap over at Two Shabby Sisters Studio .ning .com. and I will put a link in the description box below if you'd like to go over and, and uh, sign up and join some of the swaps that are going on. Uh, they'll be starting new uh, swap signups, um, I believe, on the 25th of the month. And um, also, I wanted to share some exciting news. Um, Frances, who is Makeup Addict Forever, she's one of the owners of the site. She asked me if I would um, host a swap over it um, at the website there. And so I, I said, sure, I'll give it a shot. I've never done it before, but I, I sure would like to. So um, starting in July, I'll be hosting over at um, Two Shabby Sisters Studio. And my... Um, I'm so not prepared to be even telling you this. <laughs> I'm so tired and I didn't get the information. But um, it it's a frame and, and canvas um, 
we'll be alternating frames or canvases, altering frames or canvases. Um, I'll, I'll give you more information on it um, in probably in my next video when I show my other swaps for the month. And I'll be prepared at that time to tell you the information. <laughs> I'm just excited that she even asked me to do it. Um, and, you know, it sounds like fun. I've never done it before, so why not give it a shot? So these are my cards for the June swap, card swap. And um, thank you all for watching. I hope you like my cards. And please leave me a comment below. Thank you so, so much for watching my videos. I do appreciate it. Have a blessed day, and I'll be back with more videos, I'm sure. Thank you. Bye-bye.